Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for this video. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Four Lizard, and I actually do not have a planner video for you today. I have a makeup and beauty video. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was very much in the beauty and makeup community. Specifically, I was into project panning. And about a year and a half ago, I went on a bit of a hiatus because I, was, I wasn't feeling super inspired anymore doing just exclusively makeup and beauty and project panning videos. And I decided to change my channel away from an exclusively beauty and makeup channel to something that I was able to share all of my hobbies and passions and interests with you all. So that included paper crafting and planning, which was a new hobby I had just discovered. That includes um, like spirituality, it also includes makeup and beauty, it includes reading and books, and so I just had so many interests that I wanted to share on my channel. So I decided to move away from like my exclusively beauty content, but I still want to do that type of content so um, I hope all my new subscribers who are coming from the paper crafting and planning community are just as open to this type of content as my paper crafting and planning content so if you're interested in watching this video and learning what a project pan is about and just hearing what my latest project pan endeavor is just keep on watching So like I said, I used to do exclusively beauty and makeup videos on my old channel and then I transitioned into doing all sorts of videos. But one of the main videos I did on my channel when I was exclusively doing beauty and makeup videos was project panning videos. So if you've never heard of a project panning video, um, this is something that I think originated in the beauty community and project panning is when the content creator or whoever's filming the video picks like a certain amount of items and then decides to like try to finish all of those items and the items are traditionally like makeup but they could also be like skincare and general beauty items and the idea behind a project pan is to kind of like push back against this like super consumerist society that we that we live in and try to use up more makeup than you buy and you bring into your collection because a lot of the time when we get super passionate about something we want to buy like every single thing that we're passionate about and um, sometimes it's just we end up accumulating a lot of stuff and you know we don't have to do that you know and you know not that there's anything wrong with having a lot of stuff but sometimes we just want to kind of declutter and minimalize our collections and kind of get more use out of our collections as opposed to continuing to buy more things and i think this is actually something that's really relevant to the planning and paper craft community as well because um i feel like as a planner and a paper crafter we also kind of get in uh, into the like enthusiastic collective collection mentality where we just want to like buy everything in sight and I mean, I feel also like companies really try to make us feel like we need to buy everything. They always come out with like new releases and stuff to encourage us to, you know, buy everything. But we don't have to buy everything. And so that's where project panning comes in. It's like a way to motivate yourself to use up what you have and not buy more things. All right, so I hope you understand what a project pan is. So I'm gonna be doing a project pan that I had did for maybe, I think I did it for three years in a row. I didn't do it last year because I wasn't project panning, but I want to return to this project pan. And this project pan is the 12 pans of Christmas project pan. I forget who started it, um, but the idea is that you choose 12 items um, at a, some time in November, I think. I think it like officially starts like in November, but you have until Christmas to get as much use out of those items as possible. And the 12 pans of Christmas was one of the first videos I ever filmed on YouTube. I still remember filming that video on my phone, sitting on the floor of my tiny little apartment in North Park, San Diego. 
and I didn't even edit my videos. I I just was like streaming straight. I didn't, I had no idea how to edit. I was just like here, hi, hello, these are my 12 pans. And I still remember my <laughs> janky ass background and just me sitting kind of on the floor uh, looking like a hot mess and <laughs> just trying to do YouTube. And that's why this project pan is really near and dear to my heart because I I started off on this project pan. So I, I've been feeling really inspired to get back into the makeup content and I also am moving. So I want to get through a lot of my stuff um, before the end of the year. So 12 pans of Christmas. Let's get into the items. Let's get to the exciting part. All right, let's do this. So I had a lot of fun picking my items because at this point in my project panning, journey and my beauty and makeup journey I have stopped buying makeup I think I've only I think I've only bought like one or two makeup items for the last two years like I've only bought like one or two makeup items per year for the last two or three years and that is insane to me I never thought I would get to that point where I was only buying like one or two things per year and those are usually like foundations that I've run out of mascara that I've run out of so a lot of the items left in my makeup collection are like big ticket items, which are always a lot more fun to see and watch someone pan because they're just difficult to pan. So the first two items in my project to pan are two highlighters. I've hit pan on both of these highlighters. These are Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Highlighters. These are um, gorgeous. I love Laura Gela highlighters so much. We have the iconic Gilded Honey here on the left. This is a gold highlighter, and as you can see, this is really well loved. I I love this. I love Baked Gelée um, highlighters, and yeah, I've gotten some good use out of this. This is an item, one of the only items that I've hit pan on and that I still have in my collection. The other one is Peach Glow, and I've also gotten a good amount of use out of this one. I'm wearing this one today on my cheeks, and these are gorgeous, and I think I've got a lot of progress already done in them, so I felt like these were good candidates for this project pan. So Gilded Honey and Peach Glow, I hope to finish these by the end of the year. At least finish Gilded Honey and get really close to finishing peach glow third item in my project pan we have max uh, sweet vision this is a magic dust powder it's a blush it's a blush <laughs> this is from their sweet nutcracker collection um i wanted to uh, pick this one because not only do i really adore this blush i think it's a beautiful pink peach um, which which has a good amount of glow to it but it's also like christmas themed this came out maybe three no yeah maybe like four years ago i want to say it's huge so i have used this quite a bit but you just can't really tell because it's such a big product but i'm hoping to um get some good use out of this one and because it is like we're going into winter like i really want to um get use out of this product because it just gives me those like christmas vibes and the packaging is fun so i remember like i looked forever for this blush um i don't like ordering online that much and so i'll go to store to get the products and this was like a limited edition release of course it's mac everyone was scooping up these products i remember going to like three or four different macs until i found this powder because i needed to have it in my life <laughs> oh my goodness my crazy makeup days um but yeah i'm excited to dig into this blush i hope to hit pan in this and it's just such a fun blush i love it so much it's so gorgeous so the fourth product is also a blush this is um sweet sweet fantasy this is a powder blush from mac this is from the mariah carey collection and again i went to like three different macs to find this blush because i felt like i could not live without this blush um i really like this blush it's a matte but it, it almost has like a satiny glow to it it's very subtle though and it's such a beautiful peach blush it looks kind of pinkish in the 
in the um, pan and it does have like a pink tint to it but the peach apricot tone to it comes off like really nicely um yeah it's so gorgeous Ugh, that was a terrible swatch i'm such a bad beauty guru i can't even swatch it's been so long since i swatched on camera but yes uh this one is gorgeous i adore this i adore this it's one of my favorite blushes and I felt like why not throw in one of my favorite blushes into this project pan and again this was a Christmas release and so I kind of wanted to put in a lot of my Christmas like special Christmas release products into this 12 pans of Christmas project pan because I thought that'd be cute and then speaking of Christmas releases I have four lippies in this project pan which is gonna be insane because lipsticks are probably the hardest thing for me to get through but go big or go home oh there's a fly just flying around so let's let's get into these four lippies these are all mac lippies and these are all special edition holiday release lippies and i remember again I went crazy trying to find these lipsticks these are from the sweet nutcracker collection just like the blush and I have here um, Saucy Little Darling, which is an amplified cream, and Leap of Delight, which is a matte lipstick. Leap of Delight is this insane deep purple. I think this is gonna be really fun to pull for in the winter. And then Saucy Little Darling is this really beautiful, bright, um, I would say it's like a pinky red. Gorgeous, love them. So. Again, I put these in here because I want to get through my lippies. I want to get through my lip collection. I really want to reduce my lipsticks and lip products to like 30, 30, maybe 40 lipsticks. I know some of you are like, what? You have 30 or 40 lipsticks? I used to have like 250. Now I have, I would say maybe like 70, 70, maybe 80, but I want to cut that in half so let's start getting some use out of my lipsticks and then the next two lip products these are mac mariah carey special edition limited release lipsticks i stayed up till midnight when these launched to buy these to make sure i got my hands on them i didn't even like risk that i would find them in store like i tried to buy things in store but I, for this collection, stayed up till midnight to order online. So these are Mariah Carey lip products. I have a lipstick. This is a cream sheen lipstick in McKizzle. Mc, Mc, I'm not even a Mariah Carey fan. I just wanted these for the packaging. The packaging is stunning, stunning. Like you feel so glam putting this on. It's it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. But come on, did I really have to spend all that money just for some pretty packaging? No, no. So I've gotten a good amount of use out of this lipstick. Um, I do have to pair this lipstick with a deeper lipstick or a lip liner to really get, you know, to make it look good on my skin tone because it is pretty light but i do like using it um like on the center of my lips to kind of make an ombre lip and then i like pairing this gloss on top of it so this is again from the mariah carey collection it's one of the matching glosses and this one is called it's just like honey it's this beautiful nude Ugh, it has like a brown undertone to it gorgeous gold shimmer running through it beautiful so i really want to get some good use out of these mariah carey lipsticks because i paid a good amount of money i paid an arm and a leg for these so to make it more embarrassing i stayed up till midnight right to buy these uh lipsticks when they launched and then i bought like a couple of things from the Mar Mariah Carey collection. Like I bought a few lipsticks, a few lip glosses, um, I think a blush and some other things. And then I placed my order and then 30 minutes went by and I was like, no, I need to have the rest of the collection. And I went back online and I ordered the rest of the collection. That is so embarrassing. I look back at myself and I'm like, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> All right, so we have four items left. I have here the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact in Bronze. This is a well-loved product. I've used a good amount of it. It has like a really big dip in it. 
and I just want I just want to finish it up. I want to get stuff out of my collection and this is uh, a good candidate for this project to pan because I've gotten so much use out of it and I can definitely see myself finishing it if I really just commit to it and get some use out of this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Bronze Highlighter or just bronzer. Yeah, it's a glowy bronzer. Um, definitely not a contouring bronzer. It's, it's nice. I'm wearing it today. Um, I can definitely find a drugstore dupe for this though. There's no need for me to have paid $45 plus tax for this thing. So I'll be happy to see it go. All right, so the next item is actually three items, but I'm gonna put them all into like one item because they're they're like similar and they're like small-ish, I guess. These are three Urban Decay eyeliners. These are their 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. I have the colors Deviant, Covet, and Binge. So we have Deviant, this cobalt blue, Covet, it's like a shiny metallic green, and then lastly, Binge, which is like a blue purple. And these are fun, beautiful colors. I've always loved Urban Decay's eyeliners and I just I just want to finish them. I want to get them done. I've noticed that I'm not not an eyeliner type of girl. Um, I just tend to use eyeshadow to outline my eyes. I don't really feel the need to have colored eyeliner anymore. I don't know. Maybe I would buy like one or two. I don't think I would have more than two eyeliners, colored eyeliners at a time in my collection because I just don't pull for them that much. I just use shadow, that's fine for me. Um, so I wanna get these done with and I just wanna use them and move them out of my collection and just you know get my money's worth, enjoy them, and yeah, just feel the satisfaction of finishing these. And then the next item is actually not a makeup item. This is a skincare item. This is the Lancome uh, High Potency Night Moisturizing Cream. I was trying to read like the fancy French at first and I was like... Uh, so this is a night cream and I'm almost done with it. Ooh, yeah. It's kind of cheating to put this item in. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Um, I barely have anything in here, but I threw this in here because I do want to motivate myself to finish it. I feel like I use it and then I leave it for three months. I use it and then I leave it for three months and I just want to finish it. It's, it's a nice product. Um, it was a gift, so we have that. And my 12th item is my most exciting item, and it's a whole ass palette. <laughs> yes, one of my items is a whole ass palette. This is the Too Faced, that's what pretty girls are made of. No, this is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette, and there's a little tagline that says, that's what pretty girls are made of here at the bottom. This was a holiday release from Too Faced a couple years back, and it's gonna be my Pan That palette for the year 2022. I wanna get back into Pan That palette. I want to move through my palettes, get a good year's use out of a lot of my palettes before I move them out of my collection and toss them. And this is a palette that I have enjoyed using. I'm actually wearing it today on my eyes. I love Too Faced eyeshadows. I think a lot of these um, shadows are fun and there's a lot of like more neutral and light colored shades here at the top. So I do see myself getting some good use out of this. And it comes with uh, four cheek products, uh, a blush, which I adore. I'm actually wearing that today on my cheeks, a highlighter, another blush and a bronzer. I can always get through a Sun Bunny bronzer. Um, I've gone through maybe like three of these uh, in my lifetime, like full, full on, like pans that big. So yeah, this is gonna be my palette Pan that palette for 2022, so I'm excited to dive into this. So I'm gonna start like familiarizing myself with it through this uh, project pan. And yeah, um, I love Too Faced eyeshadows. I wanna encourage myself and motivate myself to get back into doing makeup a little bit more consistently because um, I do find that if I'm not making videos about it, I tend to neglect it more. 
and um, yeah, I just want to get back into that little bit of like self care every day where I do like a nice face of makeup and I, you know, walk out the door feeling absolutely glam, feeling myself, you know, and especially with work getting super, super busy and I'm not expecting it to uh, get any easier or less busy in 2022. Um, I feel like it's gonna be super busy uh, for the next year. So I really wanna like make sure that I'm taking care of myself and I'm spending that little bit of time on myself and getting ready and feeling good about how I look. So that's why I'm doing this project pan. I also wanna get these items out of my collection. So I'm gonna be doing maybe two updates before Christmas and then I'll do like you know, I'll upload the finale on Christmas, but honestly, I think I'm going to continue this project pan until a lot of the items are finished, so it might roll over into January or February, depending on how I feel. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking it out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!